Okay, y'all believe in the Bible? I do. Okay, so you answer that real quick. What, what, what have you been taught about the Bible about who we are? We are in Christ. What are the, what's the name God gave us? Yeah, the, the way he changed that name, 28 verse Alright, what, what name did you say, sis? We are the children of Israel, and that's what most of our people don't know now. My question to you is, why is that important? Okay, well, I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to make it very simple for you. Alright, sis, read that. The book of Genesis, chapter 32, verse 28. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob. So our forefather was Jacob. He came from the lineage of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And um, his name was Jacob. Let's see what God said. Shall be no called no more Jacob, but Israel. So God said that our forefather's name was going to be no more called Jacob. He was going to be called Israel. Now, why is that important? Give me that to do the running chapter 7, verse 6. So you can understand. God never said that everybody was created equal. What? God never said everybody going to have the, the same rights to him as the children of Israel. What? God had a special people that he placed above all people. What? Watch this, sis. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. You know? This is when, um, are you familiar with Moses? Okay, Moses was the one who brought the um, Israelites out of slavery in Egypt, okay? This is the first thing Moses told the Israelites when he got them out of Egypt. Watch what he said God told him. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Hold on, what did God say? A special people unto himself. When something is special, do you treat it like something ordinary? If you got a special outfit, you only wear on special occasions. You don't let that outfit go out when it's raining, right? When there's money outside, right? So God said he had a special people unto himself, meaning that they're not like everybody else. Read. Above all people. Equal to. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. God said those people were going to be above all people upon the face of the earth. Right. Now, why do you think it was important that they took your name from you? Okay, without knowledge, we perish. That's actually in the Bible, sis, and I'm going to give you that. Give me that Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. You yeah. said a mouthful just then, sis. Watch this. The book of Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. So what you just said was actually biblical, sis. Now, the question is, what is that knowledge that we're destroyed because of? A lot of people don't know who they are. Well, that is a part of the knowledge, knowing, knowing who you are. I'm an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Where would you find yourself on the side? Judah, okay. Well, we're finna find out what's the knowledge that we're destroyed because we're lacking. How you doing, brother? Hey, hey, you got a minute? Come check this out. The book of Malachi, chapter 2 and verse 7. So understand, when you go to churches, this is going to tell you what your pastor should be teaching you. Your, this is going to tell you what knowledge is according to the Bible. Right. What we are missing that got us in a destroyed state right now. Read that. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So the priest's lips, the pastor should keep knowledge in his lips. Read. And they should seek the law. They should seek what? The law. At his mouth. So the same lips that he said he should keep knowledge in, he said we should be seeking the law from his mouth. Knowledge is knowing God's laws. Yes, so because we don't have God's laws, therefore we are destroyed, sis. Right, right. Because we don't have the laws of how to love your brother, how to treat your sister, how to have a, um, a happy marriage as opposed to single parent households, therefore we're in the state that we're in right now, right. sis. So not only knowing who you are, we must know God's laws because whether you know it or not, that's how you get understanding of this Bible. Right. Give me that in Psalm chapter 111. Because a lot of people think, oh, I read the Bible already. I already understand what God got for me. I got to understand of the Bible. The only way you're going to get understanding of this Bible, sis, if you're keeping God's laws. Right. Read it. Psalms chapter 111 and verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do 
his commandment. So the Bible says a good understanding of all they that do his commandment. So what we should be doing is trying to find out how do we please God? How do we show God we love him? How do we have a relationship with God? How do you please God, sis? That's you are a hundred percent correct. Give me that in Sirach chapter two, verse sixteen. That's actually scripture. Like, uh, the, and the thing is, it ain't about just knowing what the answer is. We actually got to apply this. So, now that you know how to please God, what should you be doing every day now? So, how would you know the law unless someone teaches you? So, that's what we're gonna teach you today. Watch this, sis. Sirach chapter two, verse sixteen. They that fear the Lord will see. That which is well pleasing unto him. Right. And they that love him shall be filled with the law. Shall fill with the what? Filled with the law. So to please God and to love God is to be filled with his laws. How do you learn the law? Sirach 37 and 12. It's very simple, since the Bible gives us the answer to everything. We Throughout our history, when we get problems in our community, we get shot by the police, we have crime in our neighborhood, we go to the streets and march. That's not God's solution. God's solution is come back to his commandments and therefore things will be changed. Read this. The book of Sirach, chapter 37 and verse 12. Right. But be continually. How often? Continually. Do you know what that means, sis? What does continually mean? <laughs> always. Be always what? What does the Bible tell you? How you doing, brother? Come on, Ryan. Right. But be continually. With a godly man. All right, how you doing, brother? We are here teaching our people who we are according to the Bible. We have not been taught that we are the Israelites of, of, um, of the Bible. Right. We've been taught that we're African American, we're Haitian, Jamaican, we're Christian. We've been taught all of these labels which ain't gonna ever get us to the Most High God. Right. God is the God of this Bible, is the God of the Israelites. That's right. So understand that throughout the Bible, God was only dealing with the Israelites. Do you believe that, sir? Okay, we can prove it if you don't. It's okay. That's why everything we say, we're going to prove it. Before you go, sis, I want you to understand, God said be continually with a godly man. How do you know a godly man? Because this is one of the scriptures that can help you to change what's going on in our community, to change your current situations. Because you know if you hang with a drunk all the time, sooner or later you're going to start picking up a drink. Right. If you hang with smokers all the time, sooner or later you're going to start taking a puff. Yep. So God said be continually with a godly man. How do I know a godly man? Do we got a three-piece suit on? Is he sitting behind a pulpit? Yep. How do we know a godly man? How could you tell that though, sis? What about you, sir? How do we know a godly man? The spirit. The spirit will tell you a godly man. I'll make it very simple, okay? Watch this. But be continually with a godly man whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord. So a godly man is somebody first off who you know to keep the commandments. I'm gonna give you a visual commandment that you can just look far away and tell if he's keeping God's commandment. Give me that in Numbers chapter 15 verse 38. You know. This is a simple way you can say, okay, that's a commandment I never heard before, but that's the way I can tell if he loved God enough to keep every last one of his commandments. Read that. Numbers chapter 15 verse 38. You know. Remember I told you brother, we are not African American, we're not black. Black is a color in the crown box. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. Hey, Our right. nationality was taken from us. Right. So anytime you hear Israel in the Bible, you should get a little warm feeling because that's your people. Right. This is God talking to you. Right. Read that. Speak unto the children of Israel. So throughout the whole Bible, that's what God going to continue to say. Speak to the children of Israel. Speak to the children of Israel. Tell the children of Israel. Not the Egyptians, not the Moabites, not the Canaanites. God only dealt with the Israelites. Read. And bid them that they make them fringes in the border of their garment. What is a fringe? This is a, this is a commandment that God gave us. What is a fringe? It's okay. That's, that's why we're here, sis. You see these things in the bottom of our shirts? They're at the borders of our garments. The borders of our shirt. These are called fringes. Read. And that they be borders of their garments throughout their generation. How long? Throughout their generation. As long as we're generating and making new babies and making new families, the Bible said we should have fringes on our garments. Read. Right? And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. So what you're watching is 
obedience. Right. We don't care what the world thinks about us. If the Bible told us to do it, we're going to do it. Right. How, many, how many pounds do you saw in a three-piece suit with fringes in a board of blue? Bring it out. You know? ain't going to see it. And that's why you continue to hear the, the same doctrines. Make sure you um, put money in the tithe. Make sure you put money in the offering when you come around. God going to bless you if you pay me. That's what the um, message you're getting. Not come back to God's laws. Because they're not men of God. They're not godly men. Read. And it shall be unto you for a friend that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. So the fringes are to remind us to keep all of God's commandments. Right. Remember, the only way you're going to get God's commandments is if someone guides you through God's commandments. Because they're not teaching it in your church. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.